how about we take a look at some of my grandfather's old silver coins from around the world. Hey everybody, thank you for watching Yankee Stacking. <laughs> it's the weekend. Uh, I just did Monday's video. I don't want to talk about markets. I don't want to talk about silver and gold spot prices. You know, I just want to take a look at some of my grandfather Earl's coins from around the world. Okay. Um, so this is going to be a little different uh, of a video for Yankee. And I'm just going to pull a couple out of this bin. I think, uh, I don't know, actually, let's pull this one out. And uh, I don't know, maybe pull this one out. And man, there's all kinds of, you know, actually, I have another 10. So let me, let me pull some more from that one. Oh my goodness. You, you know what this is? This is an old um, slide case. Slides. Anybody remember slides? <laughs> if you do, uh, tell me about it in the comments below. And oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, this is a list of all the countries my grandfather. Um, oh, that's his writing too. That is so cool. Oh. I miss my grandfather. He was a, a really wonderful coin collector. My mom's dad and uh, Earl would. Would, would take me uh, into his, um, you know, coin collecting room and he'd show me all kinds of cool stuff. And, and just he knew that going to grandparents and visiting was not exactly what a young, you know, 10 year old boy would want to do. But he made it exciting and fun because he would show me this stuff. So um, let me, uh, I don't know, let me, yeah, let me pull that one. Um, let me see, maybe, yeah, I think I have a few of these, yeah, not that, all right, um, oh, there's so many cool things in here, uh, Switzerland, ooh, yes, um, yeah, that's, that's good enough, I think, I've actually shown some of these before on a, a live stream, um, but, you've probably missed that live stream, or, or many of you probably missed it, so I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to try showing these two. So let's take a look. So actually, let's do it. Let's put it in. Let's put it in alphabetical order. So let's see. Um, let's see. Let's go together. Uh, go. All right. So, all right. So I got one, two, three, four, five countries. <laughs> let's, uh, oh, and let's flip these over this way. There we go. <laughs> we'll start with the reverse on those. <laughs> um, all right. So let's look at this one. It's a little loose, man. I probably need to put that in a different one. I'll show you like this. All right. Um, whoa. Bahamas. That's a cool coin. And now I'll, I'll put it underneath my new microscope. There we go. So now you can really see some of the detail. That is so cool. Maybe just zoom in, I'll bring it up a little bit. 1966. Oh, I like that year. That's my birth year. And you can see, wow. Yeah, you know, that coin is probably cleaned, I think. But that, is that a marlin in the back? Oh, that, oh, no, it's this way, Yankee. <laughs> there we go. Um, let's put it down first. There we go. And I can raise it up a little bit just to move it some. It's from the Bahamas. Wow. Elizabeth II, a young queen. That is probably 80% silver. That's what I'm guessing. Yep, 80%. Oh, but I love the reverse. That's that's cool. And, you know, if, if you have one of these coins, uh, just let me know uh, in the comments. I'd be really interested to know. Wow. Okay, so 
That's that's one. Uh, the Bahamas. Now this one. Oh, I think you guys will know what this one is pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, Canadian Quarter, 1968. Uh, I believe that's, hmm, oh, I'm going to embarrass myself now. I think that's, uh, is, hmm, is that an elk? <laughs> it's not a moose, I don't think. The rack seems to be a little small for that. Maybe it's a uh, Canadian, it can't be a deer. I think it's an, I think it's an elk. That's my guess. <laughs> you guys, you're going to have fun in the comments on this one. <laughs> I am not a numismatist. I am a stacker. But, you know, today I just felt like looking at some, you know, special coins to me that I got from my grandpa. So that's that's another young uh, picture of the young queen. And, and I really do think most of these coins are probably cleaned. But, hey, you know, it's 1968 Canadian Quarter. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, and now, ooh, this, this is cool. This, oh man, let, I'm gonna put this on the obverse. Tell me what country that one's from. <laughs> you probably can tell. Um, maybe even you saw what, uh, you know, the name or the, I'm sorry, the, the country that was in the uh, case there, but yeah. That's cool. That is a Mexican peso, un peso, one peso, 1957, Estados Unidos Mexicanos. <laughs> and I love the Mexican, um, is it, is it an eagle grasping or eating a snake in the back there? That's cool. <laughs> oh. I, I love the uh, the edge there. That's really cool. I, I'm not sure. I wonder if it... Yeah, there is writing on the edge. Shoot, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Just get a glance of it. Oh, yeah, it's, it, there's writing. But, man, that is, that is really cool. Anybody know who that is? I'm sure there's going to be. You know, <laughs> feel free to embarrass... Feel free to embarrass Yankee. <laughs> Tell me all the things that I'm messing up here, okay? That's a Mexican coin. It's one peso. <laughs> I know the year, and I don't know who that is on the obverse. Yeah. That, that, that's cool. All right. <laughs> all right, so three down and a bunch more to go. So, all right, let's 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 take a look at this one. Oh, that's a, oh, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put that underneath the light. Republica de Panama. It's a Panamanian coin dated 1904. I think I also know who that is. That's Balboa, right? Yes. Cinco Centis Centisimos de Balboa. Centesimo. Oh, Cinco Centesimos de Balboa. <laughs> I'm butchering this. <laughs> My Spanish is a little rusty, guys. <laughs> uh, 2.5 grains, is that? Lay. Silver. 900. It, that's 90% silver, if I'm not mistaken. I love the Balboa coins. Man, that is cool. Now, you can't really see a lot of detail on the reverse there. It's small, okay. Um, it's a little worn, but, you know, that, that is a nice uh, five-cent piece, I believe, from 1904. Really cool. Yeah, so uh, I do have some other Balboas that are really, really uh, in good condition. So check check both of these out. I'll show you two of these. Look look at these. Oh yes, that is a beautiful Quarto de Balboa. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> that really is. Man, the detail. 
around the clusters on, on the sides there, uh, around his neck, Balboa's neck, the detail on the helmet. Beautiful. Yeah, it's almost uncirculated, I would say. And the reverse. This is where you get to see the details, folks. Right there. 1947. It's a 90%. Look at that. Shovel. Look, you see this, the, 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 um, uh, the land in there. The panorama view at the bottom. Detail with the, with the uh, eagle. Spread eagle at the top. The wings. Great shape. The breast. It's really nice. That is a great quality. Uh, here's another one. Also in similar quality. Gorgeous. Oh, these are these aren't rare, okay? 1947 Balboa, not rare. Quite a few people probably have them in our community. So yeah, that that is cool. <laughs> I love those. And oh oh, actually, I almost forgot. <laughs> I have two others. Now these these aren't in that case, uh, but these were also given to me by my grandfather. And so let's let's show these. These are really cool. I put them in coin capsules. Um, there we go. Yeah, that's a Medio Balboa. Half dollar, I think. Uh, really great detail there. Um, and then the reverse. Again, now you get to see even more detail because it is, you know, it's, it's a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. So cool. 1947. And then the last one, and I know I've shown this before on the live stream, on a live stream, but that's a full VN Balboa. So a dollar, I guess. I, I, I'm guessing. <laughs> Help me there. I should probably look all this up, but it has a little bit more wear. Definitely you can see in the helmet um, the, the clusters on the the left, especially worn face. But that is just, oh man. Look at the reverse on this. 1934. Wow. 26.73 greens? I'm thinking. I, or grams. Is, is that grams? <laughs> oh, just rip me apart, folks. I don't care. I'm having a ball doing this. <laughs> I'm a stacker. I admit it. I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, and it has those, those words around there. So oh, I'm not even going to try to read them. I'm not going to embarrass myself any more than I already have. But this 90%, oh, man, I love that coin. I really do. I immediately think of uh, my grandfather when, when I look at these immediately. It's just, oh, they're so cool. All right, and the last set are from Switzerland. Yes, this was my first um, first time ever seeing a Swiss coin was when my grandpa gave me these. Yeah, Helvetia. Whoops, there's the Swiss shield, and was that twenty? How many? How many stars there? Twenty-two stars. Twenty-two. And on the reverse, it is one half rank. A 1958. And I think that's a mint mark at the bottom there, right? Or or maybe that's the designer's initials or something. But that's in pretty good shape for a 1958. Pretty. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. So that half rank. And then I do have... Uh, I think this is a full franc. Yep. Let's take a look at that. I'm guessing 22 stars there. Uh, ooh, what does that say at the bottom left? Hey, boy. I can't, I, know, I can't tell, but that's pretty cool there, too. Probably cleaned. No doubt. Sweet, though. Yeah. One full franc. I don't think it's worn that, that bad, either. 1920. B, B, there's the mint mark at the bottom. I think the francs are 90% silver, I'm guessing. 
I should look that up too. Maybe you could help me out with that. Boy, there's going to be some interesting comments in this video. All right. <laughs> That's it. That's all I wanted to do today is just kind of look at these coins together. And, uh, oh, man, I really appreciate you watching. You know, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do right down there. Uh, hit the like on the way out. Uh, leave comments, as I'm sure you're going to. <laughs> uh, and just thank you. Thank you so much. You know, we stack mostly because we want to um, you know, preserve wealth. Maybe, you know, flip and, you know, get some extra money. Uh, maybe because we do it be because stacking silver is beautiful and we're collectors. You know, this... This is the piece of Yankee that really does enjoy collecting old coins, even world coins. And again, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope your day is a-okay.